Yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy EOU, aka the Harlem Legend, man. Welcome to Harlem Legend TV, man. We got a lot to talk about, man. I want to get right into it, man. I don't want to waste no time. If you're new to the channel, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notification so you know when I'm dropping a video. I appreciate everybody that's been supporting the page. Salute. We got to talk about this, man. Did you see what Choke No Joke? Choke No Joke said about Diddy. And he was at a party. I'm just being honest. Choke No Joke, those of you that don't know, he's been around a long time. You heard? He's been around since the Rockefeller days. He was the photographer. He used to follow Dame around. He has a lot of footage. He dropped a lot of footage that we all were interested in over the years. Shout out to Choke, no joke. But I got to keep it 10,000. This is getting nasty for Diddy. Yeah, let's get to that. It's getting nasty for Diddy. A lot of lawsuits, uh, feds raiding your crib. Oh, man, this is, this is just wild. Pay attention, y'all, to what Choke, no joke says. Diddy did what? I've never seen like audio, but Diddy has hit on me. That's the riff count. What and was everybody in the, at the house was gay. I didn't know it until I really paid attention and looked around at my surroundings. I'm like, oh, shit. Right. Like, what's going that on? That sounded like an exhibit story, because exhibit had a story like that. They went to yeah. Miami. No, nah, but he went to a club. Right. I went to Steve Rifkin's house. Right. It was a... After a BET Awards, we went to an after party. Right. Me, Lil Kim, Hillary uh, Weston, who was Lil Kim's manager. Okay. Uh, at the time. And um, we go to uh, the after party. We run into Diddy, and Diddy tells us to come meet him at. He tells them, not me. He tells Kim and them, yo, come meet me at Steve Rifkin House. And we all go over to Steve Rifkin House. And while we there, um, there was another executive that been making passes at me a lot in the entertainment industry. Like, how do you respond to that when he when he makes a pass at you? You play it off? You, you laugh. You, you treat. Like, I'm cool. For me, at this stage in my life, I'm more mature than the punch in his face. Right. Right. So you just ignore it, and you know you kind of give him the uh, let him the look like nah, and given that. The look made him just look hard and made me put my head down. Because right. he got five standing around him. They like. Why do I believe this? Why does this why doesn't this sound like out of line or out of out of this world to me? You heard? I gotta keep it a hundred. He sounds so accurate when he says it. He said another exec in the music business was hitting on. Allegedly, allegedly, I didn't say it. Choke no joke said it. This is nasty work all the way around the board, and I gotta keep it a hundred. Yeah, I gotta keep it ten thousand. Diddy is pretty much in trouble right now. Either the feds are gonna swoop down and grab him up and have all these guys testify to what they're saying in the public. He didn't say allegedly. Yeah, let's get to that. Joke, no joke, did not say allegedly. He said this really happened. This is wow, y'all. I, I got to keep it a honey. Like, oh, this is nasty. Diddy, I'm telling you, leave now. <laughs> you heard? Go with Russell. Yeah. Russell smartened up. He's not coming back. He knows to get up out of here. This is bad. This is just bad overall all the way around. I don't got Diddy coming back from this. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Make sure you let me know. I, I just got to know. How did y'all... Diddy can't come back from this. It's over. His career is in the dirt. There's nothing he can do. The liquor companies ain't dealing with him. The, uh, the regular people on a day-to-day -day basis ain't dealing with him. Like... What is he going to do? Oh, you're always going to have your selective few that's going to ride that wave to think that you're going to get back on and then you're going to come back and help them. 
allegedly like some of the promises you made towards these models i'm just i'm just putting it out there y'all don't 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 get at me it's just what's in the tabloids but god bless diddy man god bless everything he got going on what he did to cassie was disgusting i'm just keeping it real what he did to cassie was disgusting but everybody deserves god's blessings no matter what Right? God bless this man. I don't got him giving up out of this, though. It's too much coming out week to week. Yeah. Every other week, we got something new on Diddy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Salute. Hit the like button. You know who I'm talking about. Shut your ass up before I get to talk shit about you. You don't want me to expose you. I got to keep it real, y'all. We got to get into it because it's getting nasty out here. It's getting nasty out here. Rallo versus Lil Boosie. They've been going back and forth. It's been, it, it's been, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy, y'all. I got to keep it real. It, 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 like, so we all know Rallo. He went and did a little time. He did about seven years, five to seven years or something like that. He got caught up by the feds, uh, interstate trafficking, coming off a plane with different pounds of green, right? That's what we're going to say, different pounds of green. Allegedly, it was out there that he was snitching. Yeah, I'm just being real. It was out there that he was snitching. He was working with them people. And then later on, it came out that you know, no, he wasn't working with them people. I, it's his, his story is confusing, y'all. The same way Boosie had to pay security to take the gun, you know how it go. So it was kind of similar to Rollo's situation of what he tried to do or what they said he did. I'm just saying, it was allegations of him telling. I'm just keeping it a honey. I ain't the one that said it. I didn't read his paperwork face value. I wasn't that much invested in Rollo. To me, he's not that great of a rapper. His voice is this. I hate his voice. His voice kills me. It unalives me. I'm just being honest. But they going back and forth, yeah? So... What recently sparked it all up? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start from now and then we're gonna work, we're gonna work back. Yeah, we're gonna work back. All right. This is what sparked it. Rallo had this to say and added Boosie's name to it as far as being 40 years old and still rapping on a stage. Pay attention. Focus on signing artists and being a CEO of a label. Like, I'm gonna get old one day. I ain't trying to be on stage like Boosie. Rapping when he fought at 50 years old. I ain't trying to be doing that. I want to pull up like Birdman with my artists, or pull up like QCP with my artists, or, 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 or you know, the, the other side, you know, all them, you know, say their name. I don't, I don't care. But I don't, I don't answer to nobody but God. You hear me? I do not answer to nobody but God. So this tongue right here. This shit might say some shit that you probably just be like, oh, so trip. I don't, I don't answer nobody but God. So, and then I'm going to say some pious shit. I'm going to do the right thing by the people. I ain't going to say no old bad shit. But I, I might slip and say some shit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, they don't mean to, I ain't telling y'all this follow. This. So obviously, that's what started right now. You heard? He was feeling some type of way. Boozy speaks out. You heard? Boozy speaks out. I have not spoken on you in years, Rollo. He tags Rollo. You still hurt by what you did? See, he's still alluding to the snitching. You heard? You still, you still, uh, uh, what you did? What you did? Laugh out loud. I'm grateful that I'm still making 150K a weekend and selling out shows. You don't have a rap career and will never have one. You, in you, right? You, sh in, you know, and you, right? 
and you right is what he meant to put y'all see these the rappers and you right you should be a ceo because one thing you can't do is make music wow god did not give you that talent leave hashtag leave hip-hop alone every other month you mentioning me shaking my head get off get me off your mind and stop using my name for clout you got my line if you want me if you want to tell me something i'm the same n-word did a verse and video for free for you when you was locked up and refused to take the 10k you was trying to pay me you get no points for like this anyway i'm about to listen to these beats and make some music i just hope you ain't doing the same thing so as you can see boosie is not playing with him but rallo shoots right back yeah 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 rallo had this to say yeah you gonna get mad at me because i said i ain't want to be of a certain age on stage rapping I ain't say nothing was wrong with the goats going on motherfucking stage, rapping, and doing their motherfucking thing. I just personally don't want to do it. He might like a red car. He, I might want a blue car. That don't mean I hate the motherfucking red car. That just simply means I just prefer the blue car, even though I love red. But however, motherfucker, you can't say I um everybody on block or I love this is this man. I ain't diss that motherfucking nigga like. Hey, have a good time. That's that's on him. I just don't want. I just choose that when I get that age, I want to be worshiping my Lord. I want to be, you know, in, deep involved in type of shit. That's just me. Period, home. They ain't they ain't dissing on other nigga that's doing. Rallo clearly has something against Boosie, right? And we gonna get to that, y'all. And I'm gonna explain why why he's coming at him like this, right? But you know, Rallo, he sends his little shots back. Uh, just talking about what uh Boosie has said. Let me just blow it up. Your Auntie Boo Boo, I love you. Maybe we can sit down and drink us a Coke 45 and talk. Uh, but you get on the internet telling the world I got your number, and you know, well, I've been in prison six years. So he's done six years, y'all. You ran to the breakfast club before me and called me up a rat in front of the whole world like it's against the streets code to pay the bros to take a charge see he he's alluding to so obviously obviously in this paperwork rallo he's saying he paid somebody to take the charge rappers do it all the time yeah i don't see what's wrong with that but there was some you know there was some type of uh discrepancy about that right is that snitching or whatever the whole world would like it's against the streets code to pay the bros to take a charge. You need to pay that security to take that gun charge for you like I tried to do. Or maybe that's a snitch move, huh? See, he's like playing on them. I ain't dissing you. I'm just loving you publicly. Us nephews get like that when we miss our favorite aunts and uncles. So what we going to do, we going to have a sit down or we just eventually go to war. Mm. Things could be getting drastic. I'll pull up wherever, wherever with all my paperwork, just tell me. So he wants to pull up on Boozy and get the paperwork out. See, these, I don't know, these rappers, they write, they write weird, right? But I got to break down why Boozy, I feel, is wrong and out of pocket. Boozy is out of line. He's out of pocket. I don't care what nobody say. Listen to this, y'all. This is him on the Breakfast Club. Get the likes up for me. Smash that like button. You heard? Subscribe to the channel. Salute. You know who I'm talking about. Shut your ass up before I get to talk shit about you. You don't want me to expose you. Pay attention, y'all. You heard? Just pay, just pay attention to it. It's nasty. I, don't, I stick to the code, bro. Like, that's mm -hmm. with anything, bro. Like... You know, I talked to Rallo. Like, Rallo was my, my partner, bro. Like, I had a good respect for that dude, mm -hmm. bro. Like, he be on soon, though, from what I heard from, the, from what I read. Shit, I don't know. Look like he talking. You know what I'm saying? So, I was looking at that, bro. I'm like. Oh, no, I thought they, they said that wasn't. They said that wasn't true. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just, from the situation, like, I. 
Like I told him, bro, you better. Which, mm -hmm. Oh, you, you spoke to him and told him that? Yeah, I texted him. Damn. I DM'd him. And what'd he say? Uh, he said, I'm looking at it the wrong way, and, you know, like that, because that hurt me with Rallo, because, you know, I fuck with dude, bro. I told him, man, I don't know who you think you're talking to, bro. But I feel like I done lost another partner. If this hurt him so bad and he felt like he lost another partner, if he was that cool, that down with this man, why didn't you call that man and get full D? So obviously you don't even know because Charlemagne had to tell you, oh, nah, that was proving this. This was, and you like, oh, I don't know. What? So you just sat here and called me a rat and don't even know? We got to start checking what's real, yeah? We got to be honest. That's not real by Boosie. I can understand why Rallo feels some type of way. I'm just being honest. I can feel why he's feeling some type of way. No way, sir. No way. No way. He didn't even have all his facts straight. If that's your man like that, if you gave him a free feature, a free bit, if that's him like that, you might want to sit down and get that situation together. Call him up. Get him on the phone. Oh, I text him. You text him? That's not real. That's not real. Real street. I, I, I'm Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Boosie, you, you just, you disgust me. That's disgusting. And we see flaws in all these street dudes. They all call themselves street dudes. They all say they down, they this, they that. I know he beat murder charges. I know. I'm not saying Boosie's a, you're a punk. I'm not saying he's a punk. What I am saying is though, come on, it's ways to handle things when you grown, when you a man, you heard? And when you really been through that, that wasn't the proper way. I'm just being honest. That's not the proper way. Salute to everybody that pulled up, everybody that enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notification so you know when I'm going live. You heard? Hit the like button. Hit the like button. It's important. We share. Share the broadcast. Salute. You know who I'm talking about. Shut your ass up before I get to talk shit about you.